back with our series Money Matters, part of our collaboration with CNBC Select. Folks, as you may know, it is tax season. So this morning, we're going to go over some common mistakes that could trip you up and delay that refund you've been waiting on. CNBC Select contributor Brittany Jones Cooper is here to help. Brittany, good morning. Welcome back. Yes, we have a lot. So she told me we have to get ready. She said fast and we're furious. Going in okay. We're going in with taxes. Yeah. So let's talk about our taxes. First yeah. and foremost, how do you figure out when to file? Yeah, you don't want to file too early. You don't want to file too late. If you file too early, then you may forget some of the documents you need. So I say start by gathering those documents. Okay. Your W-2s, your 1099s if you did freelance work, your 1095 health insurance form, that usually comes a little later. So look through your mail, get okay. everything together, then you can get started. You brought up a good point. People will file trying to get started, and then you're finished, and then you're like, oh, wait, I just got this envelope. Yeah. Or I just got this And envelope. then you have to amend the return. That's a whole other thing. Exactly. You also don't exactly. want to... Wait until that April 15th deadline, because then if you hit any delays, then you're going to file late. And if you file late, there are, pen there are penalties for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't know, even if you, if you owe money, you have to pay your taxes on April 15th, even if you don't file. Hmm. Right? So then they hit you with a failure to pay fee and a failure to file fee okay. back to back, maxing out at 25% of the taxes owed, Oof. plus interest. Yeah. So it really pays to file and pay on time. If you need an extension, which we talked about, yes. you can ask for one that gives you six more months or until October 15th. Um, and then there is no really relief for the payment other than a payment plan that you can apply for through the IRS website, but that's not guaranteed. So extension doesn't mean you don't have to pay yet. No, you still got to pay that money. All right. Yeah. Craig, you're All right. So, Brittany, now that we know when to file, let's talk about how to file because there are different ways. Yeah. And there are also, there's some resources available for folks yeah, out there, too. Yeah, people forget about the resources out there, but there are some you have to be eligible, though. Here's a few that you should look out for. The first one is called tax accounting for the elderly. This is if you're over 60 years old, uh, and they specialize in things like pensions and, reti and retirement funds. Okay. So if you go to the AAR. RP website, you can find a tax uh, person in your area. If you're a retired military, a veteran, MilTax Online will do your taxes, your federal tax return for free, and up to three returns from your states. Wow. So that's really amazing. Uh, another one that people don't really know about is called Volunteer Income Tax Assistance. This is available to people who made less than $60,000, okay. people living with a disability, and people may, who may have English as their second language. Uh, they can get help in public places like schools. And then the last one I want to tell you about is the uh, IRS free file. So if you go to IRS free dot gov slash free file mm -hmm. and you make less than seventy nine thousand dollars a year you can file for free and they have a different tax software options for you and they make Great. it super easy okay so lots of options out yeah, there tons of options here's the thing i mean no one wants to leave money on the table when it comes to filing our taxes so what are some tips there how can we make sure that we're maximizing yeah. our return do you know about credits and deductions i do know about credits okay. and deductions. a lot of people get confused so if you go to the irs website they actually list all the credits and deductions available for you and there are credits on there for like being a caregiver going back to school School, making below a certain income. There's also deductions for cool things like having an uh, office in your home yeah. or paying interest on your student loan debt. The thing here is you want to read the fine print because there's different eligibility requirements. So for that student loan debt um, deduction, you have to have, I believe, a modified adjusted gross income below $70,000. Okay. So don't apply for something that doesn't apply to you. Um, and at the end, it does help the, with the credits and the deductions to use the online tax software because it really, it runs you through it and it does the math for you. Okay. All right. Thank you. I just want to make sure. I, I, I didn't lie on television. Credits and deductions, not my specialty. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, you want to do my smile. Someone pointed out. You want to do my taxes? Yeah. No, no. I, would I like just want to make sure. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> so, Brittany, I feel like we hit this point where you're like, Okay, I think it's good. Yeah. Send. I hope I did this right. How I can know. you make sure everything you did is correct? Yeah. And I know we all just want to send it and have a glass of wine and pat ourselves on the back. Yes. Take a moment, read it over first. Even if somebody else prepares it for you, take a minute to read it over. The number one mistake on tax returns, math mistakes. Hmm. So take your calculator, check anything that you added or subtracted yourself, any numbers you entered manually, mm -hmm. even spell check your name. So all of these things will make your filing process mm -hmm. more easy. This is where the online tax software is actually really helpful. The IRS says that if you e-file, it's actually a 1% chance of error. Oh. Versus if you paper file, it's a 21% chance of wow, error. Wow, that's a big difference. Yeah, so keep that in mind. What if there is a mistake? Well, if there is a mistake, it's totally okay. You can file what's called a Form 1040X, and you can send that through the mail or e-file. What you shouldn't do is ignore it and never try to run from the IRS. They yeah, will find you. Tempting. They yeah. will find you. They will find you. They will find you. They will find you. This is also very confusing, but thanks for breaking it that's down. Good. Okay. That was great. Thank yes, you. Thank great you. tips there. And by the way, for more tips on how to manage your money, Go to CNBC.com slash money advice. That's where you can sign up for CNBC Select's newsletter. We should also note that CNBC Select may get a commission for purchases made through links on our website. All right.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.